Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, week five, day one. And I thought since I did so well at my mom's, out and about, I would try it in my own neighborhood. So, there's plenty of hills. I don't know if you can tell the hill behind me. I'm just walking up. I'm doing my warm-up. There's plenty of hills, so we'll see how it goes. Today's only a 30-minute jog, so I figure I would just do like 15 minutes out, turn around and come back when I hit my 15-minute mark. So, I'm really tired. I just woke up. <laughs> But we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Bye. Well, I'm back to the house. Oh, hi Murphy behind me. <laughs> He's in the window. Um, it was actually really pretty good. Um, I went 30 minutes. So when I hit my 15 minute mark, I turned around and came back. Um, the street that I took, it's a pretty long street, goes down to this other neighborhood next to us. And um, it runs by a uh, golf course. So it was pretty nice to see some of the golf course this morning. Um, but there's a pretty good size, like really steep hill right around the corner. And I started my run right around the top of the hill. was where my five minute walk finished for my warm up. So when I was starting off my run, I was going down that hill. And I didn't think that much about it. Well, when I got turned around and came back, I finished my run just before going up the hill. And so I'm trying to do my cool down walk as I'm going up this really steep hill. <laughs> it was very interesting to say the least. But it's good. It's a beautiful morning. It was like probably in the 60s. Um, slight breeze, not anything like headwind like. Um, I don't know, I'm just sitting out on the front porch and just enjoying the sounds of the birds and stuff. So anyway, I get to work here shortly. It's the girls' first day of their summer vacation. So they're sleeping and I don't have to try to rush off to get them to school. But um went well. I don't know if I'll get any cross training in this week, like the previous four weeks. I, d I think I've done one day of cross training in the last four weeks. But with it being um, springtime, you know, warmer weather, I'm outside more during my off days. Um, yesterday we were swimming in the pool, and today I really need to cut the grass, so I don't know how much cross training I'm actually going to get in. Although. Um, I'd like to, and when I get the opportunity, I'll try to. But all's good. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great week, and I will see y'all on Wednesday for my second day of running. Bye. Forgot to mention um, my Weight Watchers. Um, I don't even know if I mentioned it at all last week. I've been doing really well. Um, been averaging about two pounds a week uh, this last. I think the week, last Monday when I weighed, I had lost two pounds for that previous week. And then when I weighed today, I had lost like 1.6, something like that. So still going along really well with that. And um, seeing the progress, I mean, seeing the weight come off does help motivate me to continue to do well. It's like I told my husband this morning, you know, as we see the weight um, come off and we see our progress, um, that alone will help motivate as well because you don't want to go backwards and mess up all the hard work and everything you've done. So, yay, good there. Um, I wanted to show too quick, I totally forgot, yesterday, no, Saturday, my husband planted a, a new magnolia tree in our little uh, flower bed area here in, in the front of the house and um, just wanted to show y'all real quick. Let me see if I can turn this camera around, hold on. There it is. It's a little one, but they have beautiful white blooms when they do bloom, and I think it's going to be an awesome tree to have right there. To sit here on the front porch and and look at it. We had a magnolia tree at our very first house we ever had, way back in the day, and um, I'm excited to have another one here at this place. So 
Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Hi, everybody. Today is actually Thursday of week five. And I was supposed to run yesterday, but I didn't quite feel up to it. I had some soreness in my right hip, and um, I just wasn't feeling up to it. I don't know if maybe I pushed it a little bit on Saturday out at my mom's. Um, and then running in our neighborhood Monday for the first time. I don't know if I was just a little pushed. So because I don't run until Saturday, I felt like I could take one extra day off. So um, I'm out here on Thursday instead of Wednesday. But I was supposed to be out this morning, but it was raining. Like, really pretty hard. So I decided to wait. It's now, I don't know, it's sometime after 11, I think. And it's in the 70s, but it's quite breezy, so it shouldn't be too hot. Um, birds chasing each other out here. Kind of cool. Um, so anyway, it shouldn't be too bad heat-wise. Um, as long as the wind continues to blow and not push against me uphill like it always does. But I'm hoping it'll be fine. The only pr problem um, is that I did have breakfast this morning and some coffee. And so my stomach's not completely empty like it normally is when I run. So hopefully that won't be a problem. And it's a 35-minute run instead of 30. So I'm hoping with the little extra rest that I had that I should be okay. So I'm going to get out here and do it. And I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I'm back. That definitely went better than I thought it was going to, um, considering <clears throat> how I felt yesterday um, with my hip and then um, being off schedule, running a different day, running a different time of day, having eaten prior to my run, I was quite nervous, but um, it went it went pretty good. Um, I did have some hip pain. I don't know if it was a spasm or what it was, but I had some hip pain um, at the very beginning. And I'm thinking, this is not good if it's starting to hurt now. But um, it almost gave out. You know, you just get a pain when you're walking along, and it feels like your hip's going to give out on you. That's the kind of pain it kind of felt like. And um, I almost stopped and thought, I don't want to take the risk of injury. But then about the time I would think that, it would kind of clear up a little bit, and uh, I'd go along a little ways, and it would feel okay, and then it'd kind of spasm again. So I thought, well, I'll let it warm up and see how it does. Well, after about a quarter of a mile, maybe, it did. It warmed up, and it was fine the rest of the time. And I was like, all right, I'm digging this. So I'm thinking it was just overworked from previous runs. And it just needed to get warmed up, and it was fine. So I was happy about that. And then around, right after the second mile, sometime in my third mile, I started getting those rib pains where you're breathing kind of hard. And uh, my, my upper, well, upper abdomen, like right at the rib line, I guess, on the right side a little bit, started hurting wasn't real bad but it was very annoying for sure um, not so much to quit but enough that I wanted to stop but I didn't and um, I pushed through I uh, closed the <laughs> cats trying to get out of the screen um, anyway, we'll see how Saturday goes Saturday is another 35 minute jog and that will finish up week five um, I think next week I start four runs, so that'll be interesting to see. But anyway, got to get back to what I was doing, work, and uh, I'll catch y'all on Saturday. Bye.